It's a power. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Matt Give the Hands back to you with another video. Let's not waste no time. As you can tell, my man has some waves. We're gonna go ahead and take this down with the 1.5 with the grain, which is your one guard lever all the way open. My man right here, I've been cutting his hair now for about a month or two, and he's been telling me that he's been waving since 1995. And as you can tell, the progress is there. The waves are there. My man is dipping. He doesn't do nothing too crazy. He doesn't, you know, do the hot towel and brush every five minutes and everything like that. He just naturally has these nice waves. And, you know, he's been wearing a do-rag and, you know, brushing his hair here and there since 1995. So, man, once I put that one and a half with the grain on his head, everything just started popping. And as you can tell, my man has literally got some dope connections all the way around 360 waves. Um, I would say he's one of the best waivers that I've had on my channel and if y'all can vouch for for me Go ahead and comment below. Tell me what y'all think about my man's waves again been waving since 1995 an OG waiver So show y'all so show some respect man show some respect 95 been waving. That's crazy He said he's grown his hair out um, You know a few times to wolf and everything like that But other than that he's been rocking a 1.5 with the grain and a low taper on the sides and back. And then we're also gonna do some beard work, add some color enhancements to make this haircut pop, take it to the next level. Crispy edge up, stay tuned. I ain't gonna lie, man. I got some uh, motivation for my boy Get Beam on this one. Um, you know, these types of haircuts, man, when done right and the detail, you know, matters with these type of haircuts I, I love the outcome so right here i just went ahead and sprayed some um hair tonic to kind of get any get rid of any kind of debris or dirt or uh you know any kind of leftover oil that he had in his hair or kind of you know pomade whatever and now i'm just applying some heat with a brush and i'm brushing that hair tonic into the scalp to kind of clean it up a little bit before i start my taper you know this be like for free boy Right here, I'm just gonna add another little brush session. Look at that, my man spinning! Why? I can't wait, man. Stay tuned for this this dope barber tutorial. The outcome is crazy. Right here, I'm using my cordless wall detailers, creating my first guideline, and I don't want to go too high. Um, you're gonna see that I kind of take the one kind of close to where that that uh, dip is at around his like super bone area, but we're gonna blend that because we're gonna go with the grain, and you're gonna see that taper is gonna come together. After I started that bar line, I took my lever all the way open. Now I have it in the middle, and whenever I have it in the middle, I don't go all the way to the dark line. I go right underneath that, and then when I close it, I remove the ball line that I put with the details. Um, the reason I can knock that out with my, my clipper is because I have them kind of close. They're not really zero gap, they're just adjusted to my liking. I can use them on kids and adults. And right here, here's my one guard open. And as you can tell, I took that one open right to the occiput of the bone, right where that wave kind of goes into that indention. But right here, I'm just showing that I'm using the left side of the blade and the right side of the blade um, because I want to feed that hair into that guard. And this hair is going a different direction. So make sure you, you pay attention to the, uh, the growth pattern. This is the one and a half guard lever all the way open. I'm just kind of scooping out that bolt. Um, and then I'll come back with my one open and go with the grain. And then I'll slowly close the lever to kind of remove that bolt. And what's going to bring this taper, you know, together is the zero guard or your half guard, depending on what system you're using. Since I'm using my wall cordless seniors, uh, it's my 116 guard. If you're using Anis Masters, it's your zero guard. And you want to stretch the skin and that scalp with the opposite hand as well. That'll help you out. See right here. Just lifting that skin up and I'm favoring that corner to kind of knock out that bulk. But guys, happy new year team gifted, man. This 
2020 is going to be a good one. Let's hit 100K at the end of 2020, guys. Matter of fact, let's go past 100K. Let's grow this channel. Let's see if this video can get 300 likes. Let's get some comments in that section. And man, let's get some views. Share, like, comment. If you're you, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel grow. Let's grow together. I'm gonna. I got some crazy content for y'all, man. Lined up. I got another video right after this one that I'm gonna drop as well. So as you can tell, I wanted to work that left side of the taper first, and then I'll come back with my 116 guard um, and work the right side out. Sometimes I do different systems every now and then, you know, depending on how I feel. Or I'll just go all the way across with the same card. But right here I decided to work one side at a time to bring that blend together. Now this is no guard, lever open, just knocking out some dark spots. And that taper is coming together, that blurriness. And so right here, again, he wants a low taper on the sides. And I'm putting my first guy line and using my wall cordless detailers. I have these, you know, pretty adjusted, not too, too sharp. Um, and I use these on kids and adults as well. Right here, I wanted to show y'all guys, look how I'm favoring the left side of that blade. I haven't even touched the right side. Um, yes, it's because I'm on the client's uh, right side. Uh, so I'm favoring that left side of the corner, if that makes any sense. Because I want to do a low taper. I don't want to cut too high into his waves. Now this is a one guard lever all the way open. You know this beat ain't for free, boy. And after I put it all the way open, I'll put it in the middle and then close it to kind of soften up that, that line. Now this is my one and a half guard. This is the highest guard I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna remove those little dark spots that the waves have left behind. And you're gonna see that taper's gonna come together. It's a real quick system, guys. You gotta put your ball line in, lever open, middle close, your one yes, guard you open, problem. middle close, and your one and a half guard open, middle close. Now you may you may be able to skip some steps depending on the pressure you put on the client, um, the corner work, all that, right? You can you can you can save some time, but I just like to you know trust the system. And then right here I have my half guard again, lever open, middle close, because if I start with the lever close, I may create myself a guideline that I can't get out trial and error if it doesn't yeah, cut i can move the lever cold. down i can always take hair off i can't put hair back on whoa <laughs> all right this is the, again same steps one open middle close and then i'll just you know blend that in with no gut right here i'm going to start my c cup using the left side of that blade right and curving into the that, that c cup i wanted to keep that dark on purpose right here i'm putting that neckline in Again, favoring only that left side of that blade because I'm working on the right side of this, of this client. It only makes sense. <clears throat> right here, I'm gonna line up the back of the beard. And there's no redness, I, you know, I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just creating a rough draft line. That way I can follow up with my razor and then add the color enhancements to make everything pop. But look at that taper guys, that taper came together. Once I put this rough jab line on it, you're gonna see the haircut's gonna start coming together. And just wait till I put that line up in the front too. Woo! You know this beat that thing free, boy. Beaming. Shout out to Get B, man. That's my dog. That's my barber brother, Toon Squad member. Freaking innovator. That's my boy. I appreciate the motivation, man. Keep dropping that heat. And also, shout out to Chris Basio, man. He's been grinding, putting out videos like crazy. Also motivating me as well. <clears throat> we gotta get on this 2020 grind, guys. Houston, we, we gotta get on this 2020 grind. We gotta stop talking and put into action what we're talking about. If there's a goal that you wanna meet, make sure you write stuff down. Put a, a post note in your car, put it on your fridge, put it on your mirror, wake up in the morning sink into that goal and follow through with it guys i want to hit 100k at the end of this year or more so i'm going to go for that goal that's my goal right now i want that plaque i want 
I want the support that y'all have been giving me since day one and more. Like, that's helping the channel grow. And if y'all want to see more content, comment below what y'all want to see. Um, and, you know, I'll make sure that I'll be able to do that for y'all guys. But 2020, man, I'm, I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for you, 2020. I want all the smoke. It's a power. Blending in that beard. Basically what I did to the other side, I did to this side. Same steps, guys. Closing around that C cup. Now I'm favoring the right side of the blade because I'm working on the client's left side of the haircut. Favoring that right blade. Just trusting that system, trusting that blade, not applying too much pressure. No irritation. You know this beat ain't for free, boy. Lining up the back of that neckline. Look at that taper in the back, guys. It came together real nicely. You want to make sure around that exuberant bone area, if, they have, if your client has a dip like that, go with the grain. Since you did a one and a half, right, I would do uh, one midway open and then close it, and it'll blend in. But stretch that skin. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put the front line up, and then this is where you start seeing everything just come together, come to life. Right here, I'm using a little technique. I have a little bit of a talk powder on my left hand, and that's creating that white ash line or that ghost line. So I'm dipping my blade into the talk on my left hand, and then I'm applying the line. Up. Then I just brush it down because I just don't want to, you know, push back the lineup or anything like that. So I'm, I want to see where I'm lining up at, where the hair is at. And then once I brush it out, out of the way, I'll come and line it back up and then Thank apply the you. color. Yeah. That's going to help you out with your lineups where you don't push them back and don't go against the hairline. And right here, guys, um, I am spraying a little bit close, closer than normal. Um, my gun right here wasn't spraying as good. I didn't clean it out before. <laughs> this client so it was spraying a little bit less but i want to you know make sure that the color sits in there and everything and that's why i'm spraying a lot closer than normal but usually when my gun is cleaned out and you know i spray alcohol through it i can actually spray from a distance but this right here is the the og um first 245 get beam cordless air compressor this is the first one Believe it or not, guys, I haven't even got me an XL. I'm just, I'm rocking with the OG. Why fix it if it ain't broken? Yeah, it is. You know this beat ain't for free, boy. Look at this. Bow. Woo! Woo! And guys, I'm also using the Sean Cuts Hair Template Enhancement Card. Make sure you hit up Sean Cuts Hair on Instagram. That way you can get yours. I love it. Good for the beard, good for the lineup, good for the neckline, everywhere. All right, guys, so as you can tell, I am dry shaving. Houston, um, we have a problem. There's really not a lot of hair to take out, you know, take away, so I wanna make sure I go with the grain first, and then I'll come back and kinda go across the grain, but really I'm just going with the grain, to be honest with you guys. I don't wanna irritate my client's skin, especially when dry shaving. What I'll do is I'll do the with the grain first with the blade, and then I'll come back with the shaver later on in this video, and you'll see that I'll clean that up. Apollo, yeah, that motherfucker too cold. Favoring, you know, the tip of the blade, and then also when I get closer to the mouth, I'll use the uh, back side of the blade. But just little small strokes, creating that line all the way through. A consistent line, a consistent C-stroke, a consistent... Tokyo drift around that corner, bro. Yo, that taper is clean. Yo. Shout out to my client for allowing me to record this for y'all, too. If it wasn't for my clients allowing me to record their haircuts, I wouldn't have no content. So, big shout out, homie. All right, so right here, I'm adding that shaver. This is the Babyliss foil shaver. It's the smaller one with the battery, the double, double, uh, double A batteries, I believe. But I love this thing because it goes around the mustache area. It's 
smaller areas around the chin, the goatee area as well, and the neckline. Right here, I'm just creating that bottom line below the beard. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put that bronze series nine shaver. Really good for sensitive skin. You know this beard ain't free, boy. You know, it really, it's really good on sensitive skin because a lot of my clients they can't do that that box shaver. It breaks them out. So whenever I use the bronze. They come back and they're like, dude, I love that shaver. Actually, my client, y'all follow me since day one, my client actually bought me that shaver. Because he loved it so much and he didn't break out. So right here, now I'm using the Babyliss, uh, the bigger foil shaver, to kind of just knock around those small hairs that are sticking out, those, those curls, and laying down those waves, guys. So this is pretty much the end product a 1.5 with the grain low taper beards on point lineups on point taper is blurry if you are not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button share like comment all that stuff is going to help this channel grow 2020 let's hit over 100k all right let's hit over 100k by the end of 2020 team gifted as always stay gifted